We have our first upgrade for the speed. So excited. I know I look a little sweaty. I'm a little gross right now. It's uh, really warm outside, and I was out on Arrow all day, riding around, having a good time. Uh, just breaking off the winter dust. You know how it goes. Anyways, we have ourselves WeatherTech floor mats that uh, are super cool because they're special. They're fancy. They're also expensive for no reason. It's because of the name that's on them. Uh, we're gonna crack into them. We're gonna install them in the car um, and just kind of look at them. There's really nothing crazy to do. There's gonna be like a three minute video or something because, well, floor mats. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to install a floor mat. If you can't figure it out, you probably shouldn't own a car um, because you probably shouldn't be driving if you don't know how to swap a floor mat. But the ones that I did get are the uh, WeatherTech specifically the Cobb branding, because why not? Gotta have some Cobb badging on there. You know, Cobb sticker automatically adds uh, five horsepower to your engine, that's how it works. And uh, I don't make up the rules, I just follow them. But, gonna get those in there. Uh, the main reason why I wanted them, not because they say Cobb, but because they're all weather floor mats, um, and the all weather ones, right, are not gonna get all stanky when they get wet and all that sort of stuff from all your boot, boot water and all that, you know, when you're driving around. So, to prevent that, I'm gonna get rid of all, all the old carpeted ones, throw in some all weather ones. So let me swap them out real quick and I will show you what they look like. Well, there you have it. Side by side comparison of the old ones and the new ones obviously the new ones say cob and they're made out of whatever the heck that's made out of uh, and the old ones are just cloth the old ones do say mazda speed which honestly i would prefer if the new ones also said mazda speed but whatever um they did however from the manufacturer add all of this like rubbery you know whatever this you know durable material is that they put in this plastic um, which is nice because on the driver's side when you're moving your feet and your pedals and doing all that sort of stuff all the time It's rubbing it's wearing it's gonna really wear the carpet down um, Passenger side don't have to worry about that so much, but now that I have the all-weather ones. I don't have to worry about that at all. So cool And there's the fitment with the new foil liners in completely so super good looking and honestly they fit perfectly which I mean I wouldn't expect anything different from a uh, high-end brand such as WeatherTech. Um, I do have, whoop, I do have the rear ones coming. It's like one big solid thing that goes up over the rear um, and replaces the two rear ones that are back there. Um, but I think that's in a different box because they ship as like separate units or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, um, yeah. So here's the rear ones when they get here. So, I don't have the back seat uh, thingamajigs quite yet. They're on the way, they'll be here in a few days. But, I do have plastic. I do have one-handed skirt. Bam, my car shield thing. Well, there you have it. Just a Cobb sun shield, nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, it, I mean, fits as I would expect it to fit. Uh, which is cool. Oh, I gotta flip that little corner up, but I'm in my garage, so it doesn't matter. But some basic starting things for cars that you need, and since I don't yet have my uh, full ceramic tint in the Speed, I have it in the Tacoma, I don't have it in the Speed. Um, it gets really hot, and I also wanna protect the dash, because one of the known like issues with the Speed is that the um, the dashboard, there is like a secondary, th actually, I have the car here, let me show you. Now you can't see it too well, so I'm gonna pull out my handy dandy flashlight. 
So this little upper portion on the dash here, don't mind my little squid, octopus, whatever. Um, at the top here, right where my finger is. Uh, so this is a piece of plexiglass that's sitting in front of this screen. And then this is the actual dashboard material. And you can already see the formation of a little bit of a split at the top. And so that's a known problem with the Mazda speeds. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to prevent that as much as possible. And I feel like it getting baked in the sun um, is not gonna help. So here we are. I bought a sunshield. Um, hopefully that helps to protect it long term, but we'll see. And uh, yeah. And just like that, bada bing, we have another WeatherTech box. Here it is in its full glory. Or should I say it's folded glory? Ugh. So that's what it is. Big old centerpiece. Uh, it's all one piece, obviously, because this loops over top of the center. Um, so technically, we have to take the old floor mats out and then put this in its place. Uh, so you're not going to be able to see it super well. That's why I got a flashlight. Uh, so I got the floor mats fully installed here. The fit is pretty darn good. Um, there's a couple of spots that are... Oh, God. I'm falling. Uh, a couple of spots here that are a little, little awkward just because the... Uh, thingamajig the floor mat was sitting inside of a box all folded up but uh, I mean obviously it fits pretty pretty perfectly so uh, I mean I wouldn't expect anything different from such a high quality company but nice thing is is that they build up the edges um, all around here so that any mud and water and all that sort of stuff will fall into like the tray that is the floor mat and it's the same for the front which uh it's just, I don't know, it's it's a nice attention to detail because the floor mats that I have in the Tacoma don't do that. They have a little bit of an edge, but it's not like this defined. Um, so it just is going to protect the floor and the carpeting of the car along with the uh, edging and all that sort of stuff of the seat all the more. So that's just a couple of things. Super small, super easy stuff uh, to do to the speed. And I got it. <sighs> Ow! Okay. Talk about close. That was very uncomfortable. Anyways, yeah, so uh, the speed has all weather mats now. So I don't have to worry about getting the carpet all gross. And uh, I've also got the sunscreen, sun shield, sunscreen, whatever. So that I don't have to worry about the sun burning away at the dashboard, which is also nice. Um, really nothing else to go into this video. There's not a whole lot to talk about. So I do have some maintenance things that are going to be coming up, um, like legitimately going into the engine, taking portions of the engine apart in order to replace gaskets and seals and all that sort of stuff. Uh, just things that are not difficult. But if you've never done it before, it's kind of awkward. So uh, stay tuned for that. And that's all going to be going in to a speed maintenance kind of playlist because I have like the one for the Tacoma and I have the speed as well now. Um, I have a lot of upgrades coming. I have a lot of things, a lot of plans, and I can't wait to start working on these things. I uh, ordered a couple of things already, just kind of waiting for them to show up. And then we can start doing it and turning this bad boy, bad girl, whatever the hell you want to call her, uh, into a racing, zipping, speeding machine. So, super excited. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, drop a like and a subscribe and come back to see me again because more taco videos, more speed videos, more overlanding, more... Uh, gaming more everything coming on the channel so come back catch you guys next time be that sign out